Hello everyone and welcome to another match of the Providence Cup. This is the first match of day number four and the first match of group A between the two times RR champions of Joker J and Fenium versus Slow Megalul of Cyanacle and Sparkles. We are going to have four maps yet again in this unique but sort of uh, getting familiar of this format of two 1v1 maps followed by two two versus two maps to enhance the Team Roulette formula of which we are going to see plenty in the next four weeks. Uh, first up is Bangkok. Uh, and of course it's played by one players each. Uh, second map is going to be Hokkaido, of course by their teammates. So first up is Fenium versus Zionicle and then Joko J versus Sparkles. And after that, we are going to have Sapienza and the Isle of Scale as uh, 2v2 affairs. They will all receive the same spin, and of course, uh, whichever team finishes first with the one player or with both players, takes the two points. And every map counts, this is why we have four maps. Ties are possible, but uh, every point matters for qualification of the knockout stage, but we'll talk a lot about uh, the groups and whatnot in the next two weeks. For now, it's their first match of the tournament and the first map as well. Bangkok Spin is here, Jordan Cross Pistol as the groundskeeper, and Ken Morgan Injected Poison as Kitchen Staff. Uh, fairly vanilla, maybe except the fact that the groundskeeper isn't the easiest disguise to get. There we go, Zionicle is there, there now. Uh, thank you, Crudy. Was I was checking it uh, 90 seconds before that, and then he was offline. But now it's all good there. And uh, some audio from Fenim's side, who is already in uh, as the kitchen staff. Hi, chef. And this is very much a, a cake lure spin. The birthday party mission story is a fairly powerful. Uh, story here. Finium getting caught on cameras is some trouble, but uh, there's plenty of time to, to get rid of those, so I don't really expect there to be any problems. Uh, Zai is now in as well. Ends up about 50 seconds behind with a different strategy and different starts, so curious to see where that will go. Picks up the agency pickup from. Oh, Zai is, Zai is on master mode. Uh, uh, they need a restart for starters. Don't need to uh, make their life harder than it is. Three skulls of master mode is there, but uh, just a quick restart uh, will fix it, of course. Quick replan as well. Finn is very quick, and at a minute 25 seconds can already place the letter there. Of course, it's just going to mean a bit more weight for for Ken, but if it's that long, means it's about a minute 15 seconds to get to get a disguise. Fenium has all the time to to use this uh, hotel security as a proxy disguise, because he's going to leave the kitchen staff here. But not here exactly, but around the corner, it's not even pretty going to be found. Thank you, Crudy. Yeah, it's uh, it's not ideal. All oh, the extra cameras there, all the problems. And the extra enforcers and whatnot. I saw one camera. It's not one extra camera. It's not a whole lot of changes, but obviously it's a professional mode tournament. So unfortunate setback by Zionicle. Fenium got the uh, Groundskeeper disguise and he still has time to get back to, to Ken who is now entering the room. Going to be a bit last second action there with the Injected Poison. That will be some panic for sure and Zai got the news I think. No, he got compromised. Fenium, does he get the prompt? 
Uh, there is a prompt for a second, but doesn't want to risk it. And apparently the <laughs> the security still doesn't come up from floor blue now, I can see the question mark. And the fact that uh, Fane is allowed on the stairs, it seems it's <laughs> saved just barely. Nicely done there. A bit scary there, but... Uh, Well handled. The fact that Finium doesn't get rid of <laughs> the hotel security is a bit scary to me, but now he's doing it all the way around and just wanted to get rid of the exterminator as well. And now it's just uh, the groundskeeper what Finium needs. Although he's got a disguise before. Ah, now he's going back to it. And uh, did Zai... No, Zai is still a master. At least it's not going or coming down to the fact that uh, Zai was in the wrong mode because there was another restart on there. Oh, searching and red guns. And uh, who that might be? I can hear the help <laughs> from afar. I think the groundskeeper is outside at an angle on Jordan. Phenium is also unsure. I think Joker as well. That might just be. I know that they can hear the frontal chaos, or rather the Jordan target lockdowns, but didn't happen here. It was probably Jordan being found by the ground sleepers on the atrium roof, indeed. So back to even after all this, Zai on uh, professional mode, and Fairy Master after one restart, six minutes are past, 24 to go. And Zai is looking at a peekaboo opportunity. He doesn't get the calmer from the briefcase that will be brought to the evidence room. He just had to be Jordan on Phenium's run because the hotel security was taken care of. The groundskeeper is never an issue and everyone else was tranked. Which I think was just the exterminator. So, same situation for Phenium. And Zai is just a bit late for, for the peekaboo, so he's now in a bit of a scary area. Can get a corner subdue on this cross bodyguard which is unseen, that's good, and the top floor should be a good isolation spot for Zai. I found this on the stair. It says Queen on the Curious to see how it... Uh, how it stands against the... the cake lure, which is... which seems so optimized. But these are two not very long kills, so Zai might find a different approach there, which also might be quick. But Zai just wants to... Get Jordan down on floor, doesn't want to get an isolation as the groundskeeper. Perhaps it is going to take two steps. <laughs> now there's troubles. Uh, it's not just passing, but uh, still has Dexy as the enforcer. Making it a bit more difficult to isolate. Getting him back to the same uh, middle part of the spin after the letter, he has plenty of time to become the hotel security and use that as a proxy disguise to get the groundskeeper. And for the injected poison kill as kitchen staff, there will be enough time. It's a bit tighter this time because Ken is now in the room and Finn still has to come around this corner to become kitchen staff 
but Finim has placed either some coins, it's most likely some coins, yeah, on the floor. And easy as that, that's the first kill, no screaming, no target lockdown, and most importantly, uh, no guard to uh, go up the stairs. You'll hide uh, Ken's bodyguard though, since seems likely now that the exterminator and the hotel staff will enter this room, uh, their cycles have begun. Zai will already have, Zai will also have one kill down. No gardeners, sorry. Very strict security measures today. Opposite kills actually, but of course Fenium is just so close to getting the second kill. Even though that is slightly harder. Fenim is definitely just a minute or two away from finishing, but still needs to be sure about uh, the kill and to keep those green guns because the atrium roof have proven to be difficult last time around. Zai has decent timing for second cycle letter. I think it's about a minute from here if he's going straight for the letter. And he should have time. And he should find some kitchen staff in the basement. So Zai isn't too far away either, but Fenim is basically getting the isolation in these seconds. We are close the door as the last crew leaves the room. Oh, there's one more. <laughs> Just taking longer than the others for some reason. I can sit on the mini map that Noah reacted to these two KOs outside, so should be decent, should be fine to, to get that second kill. And it really just comes down to which exit Fenium will choose. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Not just passing here, not exactly sure about the wrenches. But he's going for Tak Tak, so he has to be confident that there is one wrench in inventory. Especially because he took the groundskeeper, there is one wrench next to it. Uh, next to him, rather. So there's the exit and there's the finish. Zai won't be finishing within 30 seconds, but definitely quite close. Oh, very unfortunate running into the Enforcer. Otherwise, second cycle letter would have made it close. But it is a win for Fenium and the two times RR champions taking the lead in this match. Taking one point and then, of course, taking second one same way. So it will be two to zero after this first map. Going into the other one with one map, uh, Hokkaido, between Joker J and Sparkles. Hello, hello. And there's Mika. I come. Oh my goodness. What? Where is he? <laughs> God. Uh, I seem to have missed the entirety of the first map. Uh, yes, it, that's exactly what happened so far. Okay, one, awesome. One map, one second Trifanium beating uh, Zynacles. I think it was going to be like some second cycle letter for some decent time, but ran into an enforcer, so it, it's not even a uh, photo finish, sadly. Ah, uh, okay. Makes sense. And now Hokkaido? Hokkaido next, Indeed. yes. Okay, Hokkaido. Awesome. And Joker's playing Hokkaido. Yes, Joker and okay. Spackles. Yes, okay. I got it. <laughs> Perfect. So Joker loves Hokkaido, from what I know. Besides Dartmoor, it's one of the only maps he tolerates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a very interesting tier list, but that sounds quite yeah. right to me as well. <laughs> I know he loves his quick maps, and I know he has done a lot of practice on Hokkaido back uh, back in R8, I want to say, when uh, I think he had a perfect record on Hokkaido, like 3-0 or something like that. No. Oh. Uh, Sparkles and Zionical, I know very little about. I know Zionical is a speedrunner. Yeah, it's a, it's a speedrunning duo, uh, trying out oh, okay. roulette lately. 
and this should be their That's first cool. ever tournament and match, so yeah, definitely best of luck to them and very tough start against the two-time Ara yeah. champions. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe not the most friendly start, but that's all right. Not at all, uh, but let me just, just quickly check their group. So that obviously it's a four-team sure. group and they will play, uh, yeah, Rusty Abram, so Abram Adi and Fe2, and then the Improv Royalty of mm -hmm. Blind V meme. So yeah, three matches to, to try out. Hopefully it will be fun for them as well. Yeah, that sounds like a fun group. I know all those players are very good, so it's not like they're gonna have like a pushover game or anything like that. Yeah, definitely not. And I know that Slow Megalo, let's call them by their team name as well, which is <laughs> <laughs> also just S tier, uh, have been practicing together and alone and were ready for this tournament, so I'm sure it will be just fine. And it was a very solid Bangkok so far. Just couldn't do much against Fenium. Yeah, I mean, if you're getting ready to have like a six, seven minute time on any Bangkok spin, you're clearly doing something right. Yeah, it was going to be some 10 minutes of real time, so yeah, nothing will be that just. Yeah, seriously, that's that's definitely very good. Bangkok's really hard too, so. Yeah, let's see what how this, this kind of goes. I've never seen this isolation ever. What is this? Yeah, oh, because, you're, because you're new. Uh, I think it was the Red High Kiwi, which was like the meta last year. And uh, oh, really? Rommel did it in, in the match yesterday, which I think surprised some of the oh. newer players. <laughs> I just, everyone wants to like, just not reinvent it, but, but try it for all time's sake. I, I, I'm pretty sure that was a Red High Kiwi, right? And that's the only way to yeah, really get was, Yuki in the corner. Could you use a snail? I feel like you could just use a snail for that. It's it basically variations of same caliber, and I think just Roma wasn't familiar with the with the snail and the newer strats. Red Tech Kiwi or snail is the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I'm definitely past the time of Red Tech Kiwi, unfortunately. <laughs> the different eras of roulette. <laughs> yeah, I I always see people using like little flashy, and I'm like, okay, I want little flashy, but no, I can't unlock it. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, what's, what's it called? It's not the paywall, so it's time wall. Just yeah. locked out <laughs> newer players. Feels bad for them. Uh, do you have a link so I can read off the spin? Uh, not like 10 seconds behind. <laughs> That's uh, very commendable. I'll send it to you right now. Okay, awesome. I should also just try and get better of sharing my screen screen we could just try that in general oh, sure, as sure, casters sure. in the future and then means that we have the same delay and <laughs> no co-caster spoils the future by 10-15 yeah. seconds <laughs> imagine that and bangkok uh, no, no sorry hokkaido disguised as bangkok in one second here and we have eric soda's shotgun as resort staff and yuki yamazaki loud explosive weapon as chef which could be very fast absolutely it's uh i think both i was going to say both should be looking at uh, uh chef start and joker found it start as well after changing from resort stuff which is my other thought but it's just a very straightforward gondola isolation and can even mm -hmm. detonate i feel like there as chef yeah i th i would definitely get her on the gondola i would honestly go from resort staff to be honest, I feel like that's a slightly more annoying disguise to get. Uh, just get her down, place the explosive weapon, and then go over, get the get the Eric kill, come back, get the chef, leave wherever. Really, I probably gondola is the closest. But yeah, you could be out in like two minutes. Yeah, it is going to be fairly fast spin, at least in game time. I'm not sure how many restarts will it take. Uh, Spark is looking at, I think Seeker Strats is like the Portman room, he doesn't want to fancy the, the Kiki's isolation, but they'll still go for a solid soundproof room, and I think Joker is Gondola indeed. Yes. I didn't even think of Portman's room, that's a good idea for uh, for getting the soundproof. Although it is definitely a little bit slower, it's definitely safer. It's, of course it's always hard to like, just imagine which 
uh, spots work for loud kills. I know the firearms are perfectly fine on the gondola because it's one door and one level, I should say. Yes. But explosions are just a bit more trickier. And of course, Colorado and the Tornado Shelter is the one big example there. Yes. <laughs> I saw like a couple quarters of that room are, <laughs> are soundproof. Yes, yeah, so that's the problem. That's the panic. Uh, I would uh, definitely dump for safety here. Especially considering that there are four tranked bodies with the snail and just one that you have to hide. The Joker wants to go yeah, quick. It would only take a second. Uh, but I guess he seems confident. Especially with the <laughs> director tranked, though I was imagining that the director told the guard that there was something going down. I'm not exactly sure where the guard will go though, so it's a big big sweat for Joker at the moment. Yes, I would be terrified. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like Joker must have some idea. Uh, Sparkles seems to have reset. Uh, around the seeker shots, I, he was either missing one on Yuki or got caught in the action, so I said let's restart there. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense then. It's looking at the NPCs upstairs. Could have been some, not floor hack, but you know how it works with this glass equipment. Yes. <laughs> Those NPCs are killer. Yeah, well, Sparkle Sky is Joker now. should be exiting within like 20 seconds here. Yeah, that's a really quick one. You're imagining if he can hit those shots. Oh my goodness. Console aim, what is this? <laughs> oh, there he goes. And he actually opts to change. I've... Is resort staff allowed in the garage? Uh, I'm pretty sure that beyond these doors, beyond this one, yeah. pass, it should be allowed. I'm not sure about how many enforcers it has, but it wasn't a problem here. Joker taking a couple extra seconds to finish within three minutes, so... Still a very goes. solid. Very speedy. Yeah, and there we have Sparkles again with the loud kill done before the two minute mark basically just has to detonate now yep but just sadly not quick enough against like the best console players in hitman console roulette yeah. players yeah they are crazy good actually i want to think uh i'm not sure if sparkles it's from PC or console, Zionical is definitely still a console player and one of the best console speedrunners, so it's a, it's a very... Oh! <laughs> uh, very high profile for these are. So next up, Sapi, right? Yes, Sapi. Sapi and then Scale, yes. For the two, awesome. two V2s, trying to say that quickly. The two 2v2 two, two, two target maps. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Just before ending the other streams, we can still see Sparkles finishing their run. It won't be the 245 of Joker, but he'll be quite close to that. And I think it's just very respectable from their first ever match, I think. Yes, this is a very good time. Doesn't go for the exact wall bang. This would be the meta. We'll get it through an open door and gets oh, compromised there. It's that's unfortunate unlucky. there. Thankfully, it didn't have too much effect. Yep. And can be adjusted for the next time. Yes. All right. With one refreshes on each side. Now we have. Yeah, these three sapiens are lowdowns. We'll be joined by Zai as well in a bit. Awesome. I'm curious if Fanium is hovering over Harbor Start for a reason. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen anyone use Harbor Start. Or if he's just being, you know, silly, silly Fanium. <laughs> I'm hovering Harbor Start for no good reason. So that we have something to talk about in these two and a half minutes. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Either way, I appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. Just giving us those storylines. But uh, 
it's a good question. I, for a moment, for a while, I was thinking that hardware could be used for some disguises, but I think the last few um, Priest and Mario like was also debunked that it's closer to closer from the mark. So, mm hmm, hmm. I wonder. I I have no idea what you could do from hardware. I'm like I'm trying to come up with anything in my head. It would be so. Um... Like situational, so I don't know why he would be hovering it. You could do a launch if you knew how to <laughs> do a launch. Oh, imagine! Absolutely, imagine a bomb launch Sapienza from Harbor. That would be insane. Yeah, obviously. Um. Oh, you know, you could maybe go in through the lab, but keep your suit. Like through like the the breakable wall, right? That's like the only thing I can think of. Doesn't have an item could... for it. Yeah, he doesn't even have an explosive, so probably not. What is Joe? Joe is just <laughs> tempting fate with this sniper rifle. That <laughs> testing is... how long his arms are. I suppose that's what everyone should be doing between maps. Just give us something to talk about because it has been yeah. <laughs> great prep for Sapienza. But yeah, the two-time Mario champion is definitely feeling confident. Uh, after rescheduling, uh, they these four were supposed to play last evening, but it didn't happen. But this was a really quick reschedule, and for obviously no punishments taken or anything. We just want everyone to finish their group stage matches in the next uh, fourteen days. So yeah, I mean, it was to be expected from Fanium. So <laughs> I mean, it wasn't. <laughs> It, Wasn't it Joker too? <laughs> it was actually uh, Sparkles sleeping at that time. Oh, so. well, you know what? It's just it's still Fanium's fault. See, it's still Fanium's head. fault. It's just yeah, it always comes down yeah, to it's that. It's just scary. Intimidated slow mega, but they showed up yeah. <laughs> and they could take their first points here. Of course, with the first two v two map of the match, Silvio Caruso Cleaver as Thor Clark, Francesca DeSantis Explosion Excellent as Vader. Those are uh, gross disguises, to say the <laughs> least. And a gross the gross item in the cleaver. Fine, though. Yeah, and a gross, a gross item. Uh, but I mean, you could you could get Francesca first cycle for sure, and get the cleaver, and probably be out of here by like five minutes. Yeah, you you can do all but one thing. I feel here, and yeah. Just have to come back for either the store clerk or, or 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 the second disguise or something. Yeah, uh, Fanium's starting harbor. Actually, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I just saw him start harbor. Yeah, I just seen seen it on the on the stream actually. <laughs> okay then, I mean honestly, it's if you're going to chase for store clerk. Then I yeah, feel so it's I not thinking. even that much worse from here than uh, safe house. Yeah, if you just pick up store clerk right away, this could work. Joker showing a, an even quicker infiltration. I think there's a chank on a bodyguard, and crowbar opened the door so that no one else sees. And gets a less panic heavy way to the three disguise. And Zionicle and Sparkles both started, uh, I think, ICA for Sparkles and Main Square for Zionicle. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll see for Sparkles in a second. Uh, yeah. No, both Main Square. Spark Which got, makes sense. Spark got spotted uh, exiting with the cleaver. I think they couldn't um, holster it in time. And Zai might have had a restart with the. With this lady or the waiter itself. Yes, I'm curious how um, Joker and Fanium are planning to get the waiter, especially since I think the only way I've ever gotten it is the 116 timing on the stairs. Yeah, depending on their loadouts, I, I assume uh, it, 
that same beta would of course have cycles later on, so they might just mm. be waiting for that. Emetic device feels the most solid to me, but just place it next to him and get it in the bathroom. Close combat for Zionical, but heard. Oh, no. green guns. And all the question marks will turn into oh, panic by... Oh, oh, oh. Come on! Zai's got it. Nice. Oh, let's go. Very uh, risky. Knocking people out on the stairs is always not the best idea, but seems to have made it work. Yeah, I got away with this one. And let's see if Spark can get away with getting the Cleaver. Now the panic worked and everyone left the area and the Cleaver hostled in time. So Spark was also making progress. Nice. And that's definitely a good thing to get out of the way. The cleaver is really annoying. Yeah, Zai is looking for the same. Same bullet panic. I'm, I mean, obviously they are in comms. And it seems that it's working now for both of them. Nice. I'm not sure if Zionical can make any Francesca timing with this. I think two and a half minutes won't be possible, but can always do something live and just throw the propane at her for some other timing. It's like Fanium is just getting both of Francesca's or both of the guards that come in here down, which is a good idea. I don't think I've seen anybody do that, which is kind of funny seeming. Like I feel like that's the first thing people would think of. <laughs> it's it's nice and safe and doesn't have to worry about later joker with a replan yeah. i missed that, oh that's sadly. that's big i missed that too that uh puts zionical and sparkles right back in it uh they had originally a pretty big lead over on the ir champion side but i mean they do have to have both people finish so even though it looks like fanium is well in the lead right now i feel like you know slow megal will both finish here uh, Joker is definitely set back quite a bit, at least two minutes IGT behind Sparkles. Yeah, and it doesn't feel like a spin where everyone, anyone would be guaranteed to do a kill by the first cycle, and we can see both Zai missing the first cycle completely, and Sparkles just doing a setup, so with Finium also doing setups, it doesn't feel like you know, anyone would be quicker or slower, just the in-game time lead for Snowmegal feels uh, promising for them. It seems like Joker's changed his strat to be getting Waiter first now. Which... I mean, I think getting either out of the way first here makes sense, although he has not committed to getting the Cleaver early, which I would have definitely thought would be a good idea. Looks like Joker just wants going to... around. Yeah, it seems like you just want to do the kill at all cost, um, without any setups, and then just... Doesn't really make a difference which disguise you're in, mm -hmm. but can do the cleaver later. These poor three chefs, they get panicked, like, every single time, <laughs> multiple times. Tragic. In many different ways. Fenium will be though the first player not to use really panic on the cleaver. Just place the gun to get the chef out of the way. It's a nice and quiet option. Definitely works. A bit resource heavy, but I mean, oh. if it works, it works. Sparkles wrestling with a naked oh, no. Frenny guard and then oh, is found no. in the end. That is really unfortunate. Zai would also restart and... there. It's double trouble oh, there, basically. No. I mean, fortunately, one of them doesn't have to feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> A two, true. But they will collectively. <laughs> they can each feel half bad. That works. Fanium is just going to commit the Seeker. So, I mean, good idea. Yeah, I think 
looked like the Phenim could salvage just the KO isolation, but it was too tight there and didn't want to risk it. Uh, and also, it's going to remain the main theme for these 2v2 matches. You don't have to finish first, you just have to finish first as a team, and knowing that Joker is four wins behind, you can obviously mm -hmm. leave Phenium to be safer. And uh, avoiding the <laughs> embarrassment of being the one guy who screwed over your teammate oh, is boy. for sure on the mind of, of everybody who's playing these 2v2s. Yeah. I know for sure, especially in, in a Joker Phanium call, if one of you <laughs> mess up, you're getting yelled at. <laughs> so... They are li like that, yes. Spart was spotted by the not viable chef for Vlad, but the ice cream chef. And Sinek can get another uh, sync restart. Perfectly in sync with the restarts. Kind of almost impressive. It's, <laughs> I wonder if they're communicating. <laughs> it's also some synergy, yeah. If you rip, then rip together. So now for Phanium. Yeah, has has one down. And has the store clerk inside. Basically, just one uh, EMP throw away from finishing. And Joker is, despite the, okay, that's, I guess, three and a half in the difference, uh, also quite close with uh, getting the store clerk to the mansion now, making up some nice time. Yeah, and Phanium should be out in probably around a minute. Joker definitely looking to finish second here, as long as there's no rips, but uh, not out of the woods yet. The cleaver is still difficult. Oh, it was just gunshot heard. I was worried that it said uh, crime notice, but no, Joker gets out as well. And a bit more enforcer dots will go the long way around through his own safe house, but uh, just doesn't seem to be much trouble anymore for the two times our champions. Yeah, it seems like all the hard oh. stuff is out of the way. Oh, it's a lot of enforcers though oh, in no. this particular area, that's... especially with some whoosh. And it looks like he'll just go around. For clar Fain clarification... Running to the exit now. Yeah, I Fainium... missed the EMP, I missed that. I think he went straight for it, actually. Uh, ah, well, it's... Strange. It's explosion accident, go. so might have used the, ah, the MP on the yeah, yeah. propane kill. But didn't make much difference, of course, in the first finisher, and knows the Joker is a couple of minutes away from finishing. That was some whoosh there with Chef Marcello. So once he gets inside to that bathroom, I don't think much can go wrong for Joker anymore. Yeah, it's pretty much home free now. Uh, assuming there isn't any catastrophic lab incidents. Oh, there's... Oh! oh. Speaking of oh, which, Mika... Oh my goodness. <laughs> doesn't count as a catastrophic lab incident, but catastrophic <laughs> observatory incident that would I assume to be Frenny's guard from five minutes ago, just oh looking for the target. God. That's insane. That's a Jod's type of jinx. Like, it... <laughs> no one ever timed it so well than him, but it was quite close, Mika. <laughs> but I guess yeah, both of us. I mean, you know, that was, the, that was the goal. I was trying to jinx Joker after all. He has, he has too much luck. <laughs> Well, wow, this was extraordinary. Oh my god. It's nobody could ever <laughs> expect those guards to be there. Yeah, that's just, that's crazy. Franny's guard, and I mean, like, why would you even close the door there? Like that's not even something you that would be on your mind. Yeah, especially because it's not the first cycle where you know that uh, that corridor guard, Alexis, would be there or would be arriving, leaving. Uh, just crazy yeah, there. Exactly. And uh, yeah, Slow Megal is back in this, I would imagine. 
Banium is just in the call making fun of Joker right now. <laughs> it's unsurprising there. <laughs> Although Zanical has had another restart, so it really still could be anybody's game. Yeah, sadly I cannot look at Zanical's scene anymore, but I'm sure he's doing fine as well. Just got me seasick. Bye -bye. Yeah, <laughs> as he is full rotating, looking at the sky. Yeah, he got spotted uh, getting the cleaver, but it was at that part of the map. It could have been opening the um, the door to the mansion, but now it's a closer race of a minute 15 for Joker and 45 seconds for Zai. So it's 30 seconds between the two. Oh, it's Sparkles oh, with a restart yeah, now. Sparkles. From random NPC spotting the the door that is being opened with a crowbar getting the store clerk he is also difficult disguise to get we did say it's gross and annoying spin at least yes. three-fourths of it yes those two disguises in unison not uh not pretty to say the least not at all Oh yeah. Philip. Oh Joker. Oh my. Found trespassing. Did not Running wait through. those two seconds. And I think even then you can still make it uh, with that timing. It's just, just really close there for Joker and has to restart. Zynical uh, sync restart with Joker. So it's basically a tight game so far. Doesn't matter that Phenium is now finishing his second spin of uh, Iron yeah. Scale. <laughs> Fanium just messing around. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is um this is kind of crazy seeing as we're about halfway through the spin and every person is pretty much just sync restarted. Yeah, whoever gets out of this early restart troubles and basically gets the first kill done. I mean there's still the store clerk issue and the cleaver, like it doesn't even, you cannot even say that if you get the first gear down that you are looking close to finishing, sadly. Because you just, every part of the spin can be troublesome. Yes, I, I think if you get Cleaver before you get the Explosion Axe and Kill, you're, you should be good. I mean, getting Store Clerk is hard, but it's not like... It's not as hard as as uh, either of the other disguises. It's kind of just annoying and, uh, and out of the way. Yeah, just have to look out for those NPCs, of which uh, I think Sparkles was the one who, who got spotted just a couple of minutes ago, late in their run. It's always the random NPCs that you forget exist. Yeah. Forget you. And so many of them in Sapienza, especially in these uh, remote areas. Joker is now a couple of seconds quicker and uses a brick to turn around that guard to hopefully beat him to the observatory. Sparkles just a bit late for the isolation. But I think this still can be done live. Sparkles doesn't have the propane in hand, he just wants to KO Francesca. Oh, crime notice for Zionical getting the waiter. Oh, on the stairs again. And target lockdown for Sparkles. Oh no. I feel like... So for any other kill, I feel like that would be the perfect way to to just get last minute salvage salvation on the the Frenny eye. So, but it's explosion accident, so it could have been done live with a run and gun or just throwing the prop in behind her. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it uh, didn't work out for them. It seems like Joker has had a guard here, Frenny explode from all the way downstairs, uh, and. With that guard wandering around on the stairs last time, I would be worried. Just in general, I would be as well. He would be this guard, the, the one who guards the door of the observatory. And he hears the 
housekeeper and the mansion staff scream because they are in range of the explosion by well, hearing range of it and then gets a question mark from the screaming which is just just big just hitman classic hitman yeah, yeah. and joker one kill down off to get the store clerk and uh and cleaver which hopefully hopefully isn't a problem joker <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> i just holding yeah, my breath it. here but uh the loud gunshot yeah, worked for it. cleaver and just store clerk remaining Oh, the waiter for Sparkles just <laughs> lays forward in a very yes. unique <laughs> ragdoll way, but gets this guys, and it's probably the, the way to go forward to just use one chank here. And I think nothing else requires a chank, so that could, so the other one can be used on uh, on the steel view ISO. Yes, having a chank for that ISO is so nice. Makes it so much easier. Oh, Sparkles gets the unlucky panic, but gets the cleaver from behind the kitchen assistant. And Joker has not one but two NPCs to wait out. I don't exactly think that uh, they could get the door open before they leave. Yeah, especially not with a crowbar. I believe is what he has. Uh, I think that's all he has, yeah. Uh, it would be Sparkles with the automatic pistol, which is a good alternative, but Joker gets found just passing Joker. anyway. Oh my gosh. Well then, this means a restart with 10 minutes and 5 seconds to go. Finium's run was 7-ish minutes, so definitely Joker can finish it with one more shot, but depending on where he rips, I think we have the first real shot at the tie, obviously, with mm -hmm. Zynical and Sparkles still having chances to finish, but Zai also has to restart now by courtesy of the kitchen assistant. Yeah, this could be very close. I think Joker bringing this a medic instead of a lockpick, or even just bringing a lockpick instead of a crowbar, because there's so many crowbars on this map anyway. Uh, would make this a lot, a lot easier. Yeah, well, I, I really like the beginning of this spin from Joker. He just went immediately to uh, to get the store clerk. He used the chank on the bodyguard and he opened the door with a crowbar and that got him disguised in 30 seconds. And I feel like that's the main trouble of the spin. Waiter, you can always just wait for, feel. Yeah, I, I feel like waiters not very difficult, just a waiting game. And, and if you have an, an emetic as well, it's very, very quick. Especially after this many restarts. I mean, it's also good that Joker is um, keeping up with his second strategy, I suppose, because it's also unfortunate to just keep trying different stuff. But uh, I, I guess just needs more confidence. And then think of every every little thing that can go wrong. And Joker now gets That's just passing rip. again. Eight minutes and fifteen to go. Now it's an actual last try. Yeah, this is very last try for for Joker. Sparkles. Uh, four minutes in. Zionical. This is also last try. So yeah, this is last try for everyone. If there's another rip here, it's pretty much over for the team yeah I, I feel like and they just have to pray for a tie yeah with seven minutes to go i would so i don't remember phenom's finishing time but i feel like after this many restarts i couldn't really say that this can be done any lower than seven so with 735 to go i i just yeah i, was... I believe it was like 730 maybe something like that sounds about right yeah 
but I feel like at this point, everyone has a shot. Joker has basically sure. done this spin until the very end. Zai is looking oh very close to getting two and a half minute timing on Francesco, but got a panic from the guard. Can I think go around him? And Sparkles is five minutes in and is now just going for the store clerk and the cleaver. He he already has the cleaver. Oh, connection issues. That's amazing <laughs> moment to talk about. Wasting it. precious time. And Zai's just going to completely skip Franny right now, which, from the looks of it, which, I mean, good play and play it safe on your last try. Yeah, it might just be doable in six and a half minutes using a later cycle. I think Zai still wants to do some isolation here or just, oh no, he's going back with the propane instead. Or? Oh, no, we're just leaving it there. Yeah, I think it's some big hesitation in there. And now Silvio is going upstairs uh, with the two guards. So that will cause new problems. It's usually a, a pretty easy ISO to get them upstairs, uh, especially if you don't have a trank. It's a nice uh, backup to do. But... Um, Missing the, the downstairs isolation is always annoying. It really, it doesn't change too much. It's very little t uh, time saved. It, still. He does not need to trank. Uh, if you watch this back, you can just bump them and then knock them out one at a time. Oh, as we are looking oh. for Zai to hopefully <gasps> get a finish there, there's the Joker restart. What oh, happened no. there? Uh, on the replay, we can check that um, he do, he wanted to do the the propane kill live, and he missed enough Bartoli shots so that uh, Francesca went into lockdown and got uh, her VIP guard orange. Yeah, from the psychic yeah. lockdown. Oh my gosh, that is heartbreaking. And it seems like Zanical and Sparkles both have a chance to finish, so the the pressure is really on them right now. They are definitely yeah there's the chance it's <laughs> if Zynical wants to wait out the full cycle there no I don't think he has to I think he can get a kill in the next minute or so and then leg it for the store clerk and we can see the finish in the final minute Sparkles is going extra yes. safe knowing it's last try and just the virus remaining yes good 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 plan from Sparkles I, I feel like if Zynical is doing this we are seeing like a, a final 30 seconds exit which will be <laughs> extremely <laughs> stress inducing if we get there after 30 minutes yeah oh nice one shot there i think from Sar sparkles with the automatic yeah looks like he, he can get this safe finish there and all eyes on zionica dropping in hand but <laughs> what approach will he take it's just so scary either way yeah, I mean, he has no idea, but uh, obviously we know it's either you do this or you tie. So, yeah, not terrible options, but I mean, still the pressure in the last three and a half minutes. It's immense. And I don't think he can wait until the guard is away. I think Zai just has to throw has the to go now. now. Yes. Come on. Come on. Just do it. He's just more Throw confident. It and it and run. Yeah, he just wants to wait until the guard is away, but then that leaves 245 to go all the way down to the store clerk. I honestly don't know if the cleaver is in Zai's hands. Oh, so many times we've seen different approaches now. Oh my. This is very, very risky. Zai has the cleaver. But it's wasting time with the, the checking. Oh, no. At least it's not oh, spotted, oh, but loses the propane. Can get peekaboo perhaps later on. Can get a soft lockdown with the illegal weapon. I don't even know if this is the planned part. Oh my god, I thought he was about to see Francesca. Come on. Might still see it. No, oh no. Through the open door, loses the propane. Basically, it's in the room. And just two and a half minutes he remaining. Needs to go right now. 
This is his last chance. He gets the key card, still can get the propane. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we get the kill from outside now, but I just... We better oh, hope for a... This is really hard. <laughs> yeah, it... it better be no NPCs down there. It's better be one hell of a stream delay. We, I, I don't even going to restart this time, just in in hopes of getting some ads. But minute fifty two to oh, there's the question mark. There's the peekaboo. Oh no! And there is no way out. And these are the NPCs upstairs that will end the run very shortly. If the picture in picture pops up, perhaps the first NPC will be chanked. Oh, it might not be no. over. The first one was the oh chanked God. NPC, I think. But now yeah, he's in no, range of all right. three of right. them. I <laughs> think I think he saw the others too. I mean, he has to play this one out, but a minute know. 20 is just not enough anyway. Oh my. This is heartbreaking. Ah. Uh, if he was the store clerk right now and going for the virus, even that would be too close. It just... Zai would need three more minutes here. That is so unfortunate. And gets spotted oh. after all this, getting spotted chest classing anyway. But of course the panic set in that time is running out and wanted to do something quick there and if he'll end it with a tie and both scores will increase by one, this is the first point for Slow Megalo. <laughs> Not the way they want it, but I think both teams have shown that he could absolutely be the quicker team here, but just 30 minutes wasn't enough for either of them. Just slightly not enough. Oh like man. 35 and Sionicals finishing. Yeah, I feel like if it's 35, then both uh, Joker and Zai would take their last runs just a bit safer and we could see the finish there. But it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> and Joker in, in TPC chat has made his opinion on that spin very clear. <laughs> uh, I'm not doing this shit, he says. He <laughs> was graceful wording. <laughs> he was not a fan. <laughs> but uh, it's... Yeah. Wow, that was intense. It's fine, it can get even worse with another two target map, which is arguably uh, potential, which has potential for more awkward disguise combos with suit and Blake and burial robes and Knight's Armor. Knight's Armor, yes, exactly. No. Oh. This could be, uh, this could be funny. I, I like, I like seeing Joker get upset over spins. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, it's so good to have you here for the inside. <laughs> yeah, uh, I do call with him on occasion, and his opinions on bank robber drowning on uh, New York mm. were made very, very, very clear. Uh, it seems like Cruz having issues with the Adam page. Uh-oh. Uh... Yeah, we need to add one full point to each side. So maybe if you add the half point once more, then some math class, then four becomes five, four, four, yes, that, four. perfect, okay. This is map number four of eight for the two-time RR champions. The next match would start at top of the R, which suddenly became real soon, and uh, we won't have much of a break after this. Uh, I, I suppose it will... Uh, we double check with the four of them how soon they are ready to continue and we will raid Mizuko Chen for the second match and we will have more spins here but of course the exact scoreline is yet to, yet to be determined for this match and uh, I think it really like ob obviously the 7-1, the 6-2 and the 5-3 are very different results so all to play for still. Yes for sure. That could um that could totally swing things in the in the end, for sure, having a... I, I can't imagine how awful it would be if they lose by one point and it's because of that tie. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, it's just... Yeah, like, two more weeks of this, and then it comes down to, to all those spins you play. The three matches are 12 spins, and... Yes. All the 1v1s and 2v2s just comes down to this. 
I feel like Joker and Fenium w would still be considered the favorites for the group. Mm -hmm. Yes, for uh, sure. The four teams, once more, uh, Blyde and Meme are very uh, confident team, of course. Uh, Zion Sparkles, uh, of course, the <laughs> roulette newcomers, but still, I think, a very good start from them. And uh, yes, we will yes. see the fourth team, uh, Rusty and Ebramadi, in half an hour as well. Could have definitely fooled me. They don't look like newcomers. Yeah, absolutely not. Practice good, put to good use. The magic of buff guy videos. <laughs> it's a it's a yeah. great addition, yeah. Minute and a half, and I feel like it's just the fact that it's another two target map and. It kind of feels like Sapienza on st steroids, the le fewer disguises, but the mm -hmm. worse approachability. Just You could have something exciting here as well. Yes, uh, I can agree with that. It's kind of like uh, Ambrose and Scale are like the two separate parts of Sapienza. Mm. Like Sapienza is just a whole lot of disguises and a whole lot of traversal and a whole lot of melee items. And... Ambrose is a whole lot of melee items and a little traversal and <laughs> scales a whole lot of traversal and not too many like disguises or, any, or, or melee items or anything like that. Yeah, it's a very strange combo. Why did you like uh, Isle of Scale? Yes, I... well... <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Don't have to be polite. <laughs> yeah, you, you tolerate it. <laughs> No, I, I like I like every map in the game. I I probably like this one among the lower ends, but even that, I, I don't think there's a bad Hitman map, so. You hear that? Certain people <laughs> going against one map or the Joker. other. It's, it's like half the community, but it's not the fight for that. <laughs> what we have here is the fourth map, so Mika, if you would like. Sure. Uh, we have Zoe, Falling Object, Master of Ceremonies, and Sophia, Next Snap, Chef. So, Zoe, Falling Object, Master of Ceremonies is just, like, screaming, please do Master of Ceremonies, Lair. <laughs> uh, Next Snap, Chef is, hmm, maybe even a Chef start, to be honest, and just instantly run up and get that, because Chef is the only thing that's out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, the Zoe like kill. opting for Chapel. We will see and two chapels, three chapels, four out of four chapels, perfect. Four chapels. But I well, think dang. I think you called it right. The Zoe kill screams for the MOC, but the Zoe kill can be done at any time. If you just we just start as chef, you can do first cycle radio or something even quicker. I think radio is perfectly mm -hmm. fine there, and then do the timeless MOC lore. I, I I think that would be quicker here. Yeah, I think that is probably the fastest way. But I would love to be proven wrong. I've, I think I've started chapel like twice in my life. So <laughs> I I don't start chapel for Zoe kills, but if Sophia would be suit custodian and or items around this area, then I think it's a like you can do a lot of legwork mm -hmm. before that two minute mark. But. Uh... Suppose it's not chef start for them, and we've had one Zio restart, maybe one late spark load, but otherwise it's it's fairly close in timing wise. Joker, not Joker himself, but Joker's guard finding the gun and gets the loud side KO on Zoe, which uh, causes a restart because the guard hears it. Phenom gets the ISO though, and is the first one to get Zoe down. Beyond that, it's, uh, it's early ISO's. Zio side gets the two cards down, and I think Sparkles... I'm not sure if he... if they initiated the Zoe lure, because I don't see Zoe coming. Oh, another restart for Joker. Yeah, and definitely not being mean or anything, but the the Sapiens tie had an effect on everyone, I think, and especially the two non-finishers. Yes. 
So no, I, I get that. Uh, I can imagine he is complaining. <laughs> it's it's just not a not a good time, of course. When when you feel like you are the one who costed the team one point, mm. that that's probably the the worst part of the team team retrospect. There are many many great aspects that the team work. The the fact that it's less stressful, maybe that you can have someone to talk to, but uh, the the edit pressure is definitely not not great. Oh, interesting. It shrank on the Sophia as opposed to just maybe taking any of the disguises in here and just bumping her a bunch. But that guard is going to get woken up and I think we'll just VIP track right onto her. Was the body seen in the end? I don't think so, but I, I mean, I would imagine he'll get spotted. Although, I mean, he gets the kill out of the way here. Should be good. Yeah, and also fairly useless. Uh, raiders there, so I'm not sure if they cycle to that door. I guess we'll see. The kill will be done here on Zayo's side, and that will be actually the second Zoe kill. Uh, strictly looking at kills, uh, Slow Megalul is ahead at the moment. Sparkles? He's either looking for some Sophia isolation or even a seeker. He's looking at some angles here. Might be a seeker in hand. Good to see you. Sitting in the Why are there three seekers? It's hard to say at this point. There's still no chef in sight. Zai is running into the... I thought he was running into the elite guards there. And there's the red guns. The one body Zai didn't take care of was the custodian who got the KO. And I I think, Mika, you were right in the end that after some cycles and a lot of time, uh, the elite guard was found. And then Zoe and then the custodian. Well, that is definitely annoying, but seems like... What, is Zion O'Clock having loading problems? That is the most infuriating part of roulette. Yeah. That's a long one. 10, 15 seconds now and just... Sparkle's also losing the coin trail and ends up with a restart and a replan. And there's the Matic that was missing from the last run. Now definitely an RR champ lead. Yeah, fanium has got the chef now. Thanium looking to exit very soon. Just needs to get the Sophia kill down. I'm not certain if Sophia is isolated from Thanium. Uh, actually, I'm not certain either, so I suppose that we will see. But timing wise, when Thanium was around Zoe by the two and a half, three minute mark, so I, I guess that was just a trip there, yes. but there's Zoe, Sophia lying down, actually, so. Yeah, Fenium will be out of here very fast then. So it was a quick chef grab in the end. And uh, it seems like Joker's trying to pro prove my case here with the chef start, which I think will have a probably like a minute IGT lead on the chapel start, but we'll see, I suppose. Yeah, looks quick there. Finny with the second kill and Joker just <laughs> needs to get there. It's a big whoosh. He'll be another oh. big whoosh <laughs> and gets oh. red in the end. Oh my god. <laughs> just is... wait a half second. That's so unfortunate. But oh, also the there's the aspect the of game, yeah, the pressure that he knows the Finium is finishing and it's all on Joker whether they get the two points or none. But that they don't know that uh, they were well ahead. Now it's tied again between him and Zionical. Yes, it is difficult to keep your cool when you're the one who needs to finish. And there we go, Fanium first out yet again. But it's definitely a quicker stretch from Joker than the slow Megalodon was. MOC start. 
So I feel like Joker still has one more shot to win this, uh, regardless of how Slomega will does. They would need to be a bit optimized to be able to be... Oh, I... Never mind. I, I thought Zionicle had a whole minute IGT lead, but actually only has about 15 seconds. So yeah, definitely has a good chance here. So Zai did the double chank thing again, but it's happened once more because the distance between Zoe and her guard was just ridiculous. And of course it could have been saved with some bumping, but I guess it's just more comfortable with the, the the moving seeker aim or the chain aims, but it worked out again and uh, Zai will have the first kill again. There we go. One down. Now to make the seemingly endless trek to the Shaft of Spades. <laughs> yeah, basically both of them. Spark is looking for the Sofia Iso again and they can now try the Seeker shot. For which they replant, but doesn't have an angle here. Funny enough, this is the start of the second cycle very soon, so could just do the Architect start. Seems like Joker's getting a Raider disguise. Very good idea. Gonna save him the trouble of those whooshes. Can't Next see much. Down. Can't see much of Spark, but they got the Elite Guard sick, and the <laughs> the Dart Gun's noise uh, surprised Sophia, so that's the isolation on her. But I'm not sure if the Breach would be the best place for that. This is crazy. Seems like they're taking a second here. <laughs> the new teams or the teams for the next match. <laughs> I'm getting ready, uh, Medi in the voice channel. Oh. Maybe it's just a bit early to to join in on Spark and Zai, just my opinion there. Yeah, maybe a tad. It's obviously a very <laughs> tense moment for not just Joker, but the whole Slomegal team. I think uh, Joker should be out by like 4.30 though. Well, okay, maybe not 4.30, like 5 minutes. I thought he had already triggered it. I wasn't sure either, yeah. Seems that, uh, yep, that's the Observer Chandelier. Specifically, uh, Observer's Chandelier. Yeah, only he can use it. Zai with a restart. Oh, that is unfortunate. That might be curtains for Slomegal on this map. It was definitely Joker in the lead compared to the two Slomegal players, but this definitely sets it now. Unless, uh, if if that KO is a bit slower, then the door opens and the KO is seen by the guards, but luckily I think there shouldn't be any last second end of the run rips. Yeah, I think that should be it for Joker. Just checking the falling objects, good idea. Now that would be devastating too. That would be awful. To reap to that or to not get a kill to that, but there's the last kill of this match, and none just pass in disguise of Joker. We'll get him out with. You did say five minutes with the yeah, second. Yeah, I did say five minutes. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Oh! Disappointing. Four fifty-eight seconds. I think Joker did not want to play another second with this game. <laughs> oh, I see a new message in TPC chat. Oh no, I thought that was Joker. No, but we will have, we will have his recap of the match soon for sure. But there's the finish yeah. from the two-time ARA champions. Well done. The first tie.
not the team I would have expected out of our champions to be tying, but I suppose anything anything is possible. Not, and not the map I expected it to yeah, happen on either, but uh, it was a really entertaining Sapienza for us, uh, not for the yes. four of them. <laughs> Uh, Sadly, no map win for Slow Megalol, but one point started, which is definitely better start than for other teams. And we've seen uh, Atos. Well, you were the cause of that, so. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, you incredible <laughs> bully is the Geometry Dash Refugees. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But... We only Atoed one team. Well, it's very kind of you guys. Yeah, yes. seven maps, one and one loss so far. So I think we will see it on the group stage uh, channel for... Speaking of that, let's see the brackets. It luckily updated already. So first match of six of group A, seven points for the RR champions and one for Slomegalul with the Improv Royalty and Rusty Abram yet to play. Uh, but they will play, at least Rusty Abram, in 16 minutes. Yes, very, very soon. Uh, depends if, of course, we might just see some uh, uh, last minute delays or just a couple extra minutes to see if everyone is ready. Yeah. If uh, 15 Arachem... minutes for now. <laughs> yeah, they are all here, so we should have a match going, but just definitely need to make sure that everyone is happy with that. Now, this page needs a refresh, fine. As the Four results in so far, CX Punk with eight points, so they had the other uh, sleep teams. Uh, the refugees, the Geometry Dash refugees with the most amount of points, of course, two matches played, 14 points and just two loss to the Rouletton Professionals. Uh, group C yet to play. Uh, they will start tomorrow between uh, stuffers turned builders and ourselves, so every group will have some results on the board soon enough. Yeah, I mean... These are very cool groups. We're only missing uh, two out of the possible 16 that we were going to have. And I mean, uh, definitely excited to see how this is going to go. Yeah, me too. Um, so it's two more weeks. It will end on Sunday the 2nd, at least the group stage, I mean. So 13 yes. days after this. Uh, 24 group stage matches in total. And this was like, I don't know, the fourth one. So, <laughs> so many more to go. Uh, definitely a lot of actions. And uh, it should be over soon. Or, sorry, not over soon. It should be over <laughs> uh, opposite of soon. By by October. It should be over far. Far, yes. And <laughs> maybe never ever or something like that. This also needs a refreshment. No worries about that. Uh, yeah. and now it's all over the place. Perfect. Uh this doesn't make a lot of sense, but the next match starts in 15 minutes. Which is basically the only thing that isn't shown on here. We'll send an angry message to Tournament about this one, but <laughs> it's the first of two matches, and uh, we'll be on the idler for five to ten minutes, and then Raiden Zuko when he goes live for the second match of the two-time RR champions versus Rusty Abram. Should be a great one as well. So yeah, any takeaways from this match, Mika? Um. I think that I think Sparkles and Zai did really well. Uh, I think that they were keeping up with Joker, which is not an easy feat at all. And I think Joker needs to make sure he's not getting in his head for the second match because I could tell he was getting in his head in in, uh, in scale there a bit. Yeah, for them it's just going to feel like one long match with eight maps and with a longer map. No longer break mm -hmm. between the fourth and the fifth map, so hopefully he can recover. Phenium Untouchable and just a really nice debut performance from the Slow Megalol team. Hopefully, I mean, we will see more of them, of course, so hopefully with even better results. So, sure. yeah, this should be it for this match, and uh, can't wait to see the next match, casted by Nezuko. So, thank you everyone yes. for watching again. Thank you, Krudy, for admining. And thank you, Mika, for co-casting with me. Thank you for having me. No problem, always a pleasure. Thanks everyone for watching again. GG to the players and see you guys for the next match.